<laughs> One of the more useful techniques for testing software is the concept of a mock object. Basically, a mock object is a testing mechanism that allows us to isolate a class in unit tests and essentially simulate or mock the other classes that that class interacts with, allowing us to very easily test the behavior of that class given a set of known criteria and known conditions coming in from the external classes. Let's take a look at this graphically. So here on the screen we're seeing an example of what we might have over here on the left in a real system. So in our real system here, like so, we can see that we have this given class right here in the middle and there are dependencies on these other classes that are shown in yellow. So what essentially that means is there are method invocations being made into these other classes. What we would like to be able to do is to essentially separate so that we are testing this class in the absence of productions versions of these other classes. That's where we get to this model of using a class and unit test, where essentially what we do is we take this class in the middle, and instead of using production versions of these classes, we essentially use what are called mocks, where mocks basically are some sort of a simulation of the behavior of the real classes. So here is a system that I might want to test. Basically this class that we would like to test here is this one in the middle here called the temperature analyzer. And what it does is it essentially reads some temperatures from a thermometer and says, do we have a condition where there's hypothermia, where it's normal, where there's a fever, or hyperpyrexia. Different conditions that can happen based upon, essentially, temperature. Now, the way this system works is essentially it relies on a class here called a console thermometer. And what we're going to do is instead of using the production version of that, we are at this point here going to essentially simulate that console thermometer. So in simulating, what happens is these two calls that I make right here, we're going to have essentially canned responses that go back and those canned responses are set up in such a way that we can essentially test the conditions that we would like to be able to diagnose. The other thing we can test with this is, is this call made the correct number of times? Do we actually invoke that get temperature in degrees the correct number of times for the system to work properly? So those are the two things we can accomplish here with our mock object. Let's take a look at how we do this with a tool called Makito. So Makito is a framework for unit testing in Java and it allows us to work basically with a lot of different Java tools. We can do this with Eclipse, we can do it with IntelliJ, we can do this with JUnit, we can do this with TestNG, a lot of different frameworks, so on and so forth. So this is Makito.org and it gives some of the explanation as to why Makito works the way it does, how we can go about using it. There are some links to some various frequently asked questions, release notes, some wikis, and there also are some things where you could potentially, if you wanted to, get training by people directly at Makito. Probably not something most people are going to do, but there certainly are a lot of resources here to use Makito. What we're going to do now is we're going to get started with a given system in essentially lay out some basic tests using Makito. So here right now is a look at the piece of code that we are going to place under test with this mock object. This is our temperature analyzer and in specific what we want to look at with this method is this diagnose condition method that's here. Now you can see it's pretty straightforward in that if the thermometer is null it's going to throw an exception. Um, then what it does is it reads the temperatures twice, it calculates the difference of them, 
if the differences are more than one degree, it says the difference is too large, something happened and went wrong, and I'm not going to try and diagnose the condition. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to average those two together, and based on those, if it's less than 95, we're going to say the person is in a condition of hypothermia. If the temperature is 97 to 99.5, that's perfectly normal, healthy condition to be in. If the temperature is greater than 105.8, they are in, assist, first off, they have a fever, um, but they are also in what's called hyperpyrexia, which is basically a really, really dangerous fever condition to be in. And so we will go about testing all of these different things. So what we would like to do here is to create a unit test for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the, by selecting part of this diagnose condition method, and I am invoking the keys, control, shift, and T, to generate and create a new test for the temperature analyzer. Now the library I'm going to use in this case is going to be TestNG. The class name is going to be Temperature Analyzer Test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the diagnose condition. That's the only one I'm really worrying about right now in this particular situation here. Alright, so this creates my test framework for test ng and it's got the one test method in it. Now in setting this up what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a an instance of a temperature analyzer like so and before each one of these methods gets invoked and afterwards I'm going to set up some initialization and some cleanup code in here like so where we're going to essentially create a new mock. Now I have not set up for the mock yet. I've got to do that first. In order to set up for the mock, what I need to do is I need to bring in the Mockito libraries into my system. So I'm going to go into my project structure here in IntelliJ, the global libraries, the libraries that are available externally, and I need to add, in this case I'm going to use Maven, which is a tool that allows me to start to handle my configurations. I want to put in here Makito hyphen all and I am now going to do a search for this. What Makito all does is it searches in Maven and says what are all the various packages that are needed in order to use Makito and it's going to come up with a bunch of different lists of things that I can go with and I'm going to go with this set that's right here select it and import that into my project. And with that being the case, I correct. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put one of my other pieces of code in here. My example mock, which is the mock thermometer. Because remember, in this class, what we are doing is we are going to mock the thermometer that provides the vital statistics back about does a person have a fever. So what this is saying is that I have an instance of the thermometer that is mocked, simulated essentially. Before, the met before each one of these test methods gets invoked, what I want to do is I want to create a new instance of the mock. And afterwards, I'm going to set my temperature analyzer to be null. Um, so that is essentially what I have as far as my methods that I've got set up here. Now what I want to do is I want to start putting together a little bit of what is my testing going to be like. Now in my case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a data provider to actually do the testing. Now this data provider is going to essentially return back two sets of temperatures. So what I have in my data provider is 98.6 and 98.6. If you think about it, perfectly normal. 99.5, 99.5, two temperature pairs. Now remember, these temperature pairs here represent the first and the second call that we're going to have to our thermometer item based upon the sequence that these classes go through. So I have these in here. And what I'm going to be doing is saying 
for each of these is this a normal temperature. So 98.6, 98.6, that is true, that's normal. 99.5, 99.5, that's true, that's normal. 99.6, 99.6, that's false, no longer normal. 99.4, 99.4, that's true. So you can see that what I've got here in this particular scenario is I've selected some test cases that are essentially a boundary value analysis approach to the upper range of normal temperatures. So I've selected them and then this one here is right at the lower end of the range. So those are the temperatures that are going to be returned by my call over here to the console thermometer. Those represent the two calls here. I'm going to be testing the di this diagnosis of is normal. Okay, so I've got that in there. I have my thing set up. Now, what I need to do is I need to set up my test case here. So what I have here, and I'm going to lay this out just a little differently in terms of the testing name. I'm using my data provider right here. My test normal is going to take in two doubles, which are these temperatures that are going to be returned from the data provider, and then Boolean value, which represents is the temperature normal or not. Now when I call that method, or basically when I look at the sequence for what's going to go on within this method called essentially diagnose condition, diagnose condition, which is right here, if we look at it, what's going to happen is when this is called, what we want to do is this method here, get temperature in degrees, which is on our object that's going to be mocked, is going to be called exactly twice. And it's going to return those two values. So I need to set up my mock object in such a way so that it does that. So this is tying the data that is passed in, essentially, into what's going to happen when that those tests, or when those method invocations occur. So essentially, the when operation says when the method get temperature in degrees on the mocked thermometer is invoked, what I want to do is I want to return temp1 followed by temp2. This here is my first invocation, this is my second invocation. So this will return that first and that second temperature back that happened when I call that method that is on that mocked object. Now that I have this, what I can do is I can actually instantiate the object that's going to be tested. Remember, the constructor for this class requires me to pass in the thermometer we're going to be reading. If I don't have that, I can't actually tell what I'm going to read from. So I'm instantiating that, passing in this mock thermometer. And remember, the mock thermometer is essentially a simulation of the thermometer. It's something we have created in order to do testing. So I've done that. So this part here, if we think about our triple A notation, this is really our arrange stage where we are going to arrange things in our given system. Now that we have that, then we're going to get down into our act stage. So what we're going to do in our act stage is we want to diagnose the condition. So we're going to call TA, which is our temperature analyzer, diagnose condition. That's what we're going to do in ACT. Then when we get down to the very bottom, we're going to do our assert and essentially check our results. So in this area, we want to do two things. We're going to assert that essentially the temperature analyzer dot is normal matches with the value that we pass in for normal. Remember our table here in our data provider is telling us whether that should be true or false for normal. And we also are going to do one other check in our system. What we're going to do is we are going to verify that the sequence that these calls right here that the correct number has occurred. So in order to do that, I'm going to use this verify method here, where our, the verify method essentially checks 
the number of times that this method, get temperature in degrees, was invoked. In my case, I want that to be exactly twice, matching exactly what was in my sequence diagram for the number of times that should be invoked, and I'm verifying it on the mock thermometer. So with that being the case now, I have my test case all written. I can save it, and I can run this just like I would do a normal test now, and it will go through, build the tests, and there we can see that all of them have passed. Normal is correct, normal is correct, normal is correct, and you can see all the different permutations of the testing. Now, if there was a problem in my code, let's put a problem in my code here. So, for example, let's say that we did not make whoops, that second call to get the temperature in degrees, and what happened is the system just kept temperature 1 and temperature 2 to be exactly the same. Something was wrong in our invocation. We did not follow the sequence properly. We're not calling the method in the right order. When we get into this case here, what we can do is we will now see a failure in our tests in that this verification down here is going to fail. So I can now run this, and what we will see is that each one of these, there was a failure, and it says we wanted it to be two times, but it was only one time. That is just as much of a failure in terms of testing when we're dealing with multiple objects as the scenario where we get the wrong data back. So I've gone through, I've demonstrated now how we can use mock objects to essentially test is the behavior correct for this class in here called the temperature analyzer where it is actually making calls into an external class that I don't have available and I want to essentially simulate or mock. So that's going to bring this video on using the Mockito tool with IntelliJ to a conclusion.